Today we will design this navbar in Figma and this is not any ordinary navbar you can resize it according to the screen width and you can also change the active state by this drop down menu you just have to choose which active state you want so let's start for this we will be requiring two type of icons one is for active state and the second one is for default state i recommend you using field icon for the active state and stroke icon for the default state i have downloaded these icons from remixicon.com you can download it from here or you can use your icon set if you have any that's not an issue but make sure that your icons are placed inside a frame of 24 pixels you can see that in the layers panel this is the frame and this is the icon we have otherwise there will be some distortion in icon okay so now we can start you have to arrange all your icons in the list and then we will add the label for that i will press t on keyboard and simply click and type the name and press escape and then i will choose the center align option and this auto grid i'm using the font roboto you can use any font you want and the font size will be 12 pixels and font weight will be regular for inactive state you just have to place it here and simply copy it by holding alt or option key and then drag and then change the label okay so now we will select all of these and copy them to the active state by holding alt or option key and we will change the font weight by one step from regular to medium now we have to add auto layout to icon and the label for that i will select one icon and its label and add auto layout from here or you can use the shortcut shift a for adding it do the same with every set now we have added auto layout to all of them i will select all of them and change the spacing here you see here to two pixels and make sure that your direction is downwards not this horizontal direction it should be vertical otherwise they will be placed in front of the icon we don't want that and this option should be center aligned and we will change the height to 56 pixels but you can see there the option is disabled now you can change it if you go here and choose fixed height then you will be able to change the height type 56 here okay let's move them a bit up okay now you have to create four sets of proper active and inactive elements i will duplicate them and delete this one from here this one from here this one from here this, and simply place them in the right position now i will select four of these and add auto layout again select these and add auto layout do the same with this add auto layout okay now we have added auto layout in all of now we will select all of them and change the width although the width is variable but we have to do 360 pixels for now we will change this hug option to fixed width and then type the dimension 360 pixels okay now we are good now i have to center align it and go to this option here you see and change it from pack to space pick and then close it and you see this vertical spacing option type zero here okay now we have added the proper auto layout in the parent element now we will go to the child element for that i will press enter and now i am entering in the child element you can see now we will change its width to auto width or you can say parent container simply go here and choose fill container okay now our navbar is ready you can select any one of them and if you resize them it will resize perfectly okay oh sorry i forgot to change the color you should change color before placing them but we can do that now you can use your ascent color for the active state or you can use this blue color here is a hex code 4075 ff now we will select all of them and add a white color to it add a bit of drop shadow effects drop shadow go to the settings change it to minus one by direction and change the blur to two and opacity will be 10 percent and close it now we will rename it you can simply double click on the name or you can press ctrl r on the keyboard to rename it and type the name of active state okay now we are almost done now we just have to select all of them and go here in the drop down and choose create component set it will create a component variant and we will be able to use it let's change the name simply double click on the property one and type state here or you can type any other word you want now we are ready let's change the name of component also navbar now if you select one of these and copy it by holding alt or option key and now you can resize it and you can also change the state 
If you have any doubt regarding the process or any other thing, you can comment below. I will reply it as soon as possible. Link for this file is given in the description. You can copy it if you want. And this was for this video. See you in the next one. Till then, bye.